Do you know what the craziest thing about this series so far? It's not the fact that our main character, Yuya, is a homeowner of not one property, but two. No, it's not about the fact that there's a different world or a different dimension. It's not even about the fact that he lost 300 points and got jacked. That girl, Lexia, at the end, risked her entire guard just for some dick. They, sh they were literally like, but ma'am, the Dark Forest, that's like really dangerous territory. We're going to be in danger. And Lexia was like, we? Oui. I don't got time for this shit. I'm just kidding, but like, it's just so ridiculous when she's like, everybody else is dying, and she's like, will you marry me? Like, why? Why though? I don't know. We don't really have to ask questions for this anime. Just enjoy it. Let's begin today's reaction. There she is. <laughs> will you marry me? What are you thinking? You met him once. Like, he saved her, and she kind of saw him. And that was it? Like, why? Love at first sight. I mean, yeah, I guess we could go with that. The darkest regions. They keep saying that, and they're really impressed about this forest. Like, is this really like super endgame to like territory? That's a big deal. The first princess. Exactly, right? We're gonna be like, <laughs> we could be a king here. <laughs> You're just verbally gonna say thank you, or is there something else? Sama. Oh my god. <laughs> I remember, it says love at first sight. Just go with it. Uh-huh. Sure? I mean, you should probably say yes, but a thank you. Yeah, what kind of thank you is a marriage proposal? Oh. The Are these the people? Ah, uh, okay. So, the people that tries to assassinate Lexia. Which is this faction? It's kind of dark, but I can see like a mask. Long blonde hair. Kind of blue purple eyes. He must be some kind of royalty too then. Obviously, it's got to be some kind of opposition that's after the first princess spot. What did she do? Right, I forgot. We got an entirely new school to go to too, right? There's so many things going on in the earth world and we got like the fashion stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> just the pedestrians. The best part is not just the girls gushing over, it's the random salary men, the office workers that look at him. They're like, what? Just so funny to me. On the streets, they're just constantly ready. They just break their neck and look at him. <gasps> the transfer students. Oh my god! <laughs> Imagine all the girls start screaming. And our new friends. Please help him out. Soccer? Yo, where's Yuya? Come on. I want Yuya to pop off in soccer. Oh, shit. Yo, Ryo is pretty athletic. Who's this girl? Who is this girl? I don't think we've ever met. Have we? Her hair kind of reminds me of the, the model girl, but like, who are you? Yeah, yeah who, who are you? Kaede Kazama. Nice to meet you. Oh, she's making her, she's making some moves. Just showed up out of nowhere, started some small talk. First name basis already, okay. Yeah, where's the rest of his team? Why is it like 1v10? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Where's the rest of his teammates? Impossible! What an amazing pass. Oh, wait! This guy. This guy was the one that uh, saw Yuya as a rival, right? Bro! How? No, you used to be like. <laughs> so cool! <laughs> oh, should he score? I didn't think he'd score from that position, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, training in another world, killing slimes across the fence. You know, he can do that shit. <laughs> oh my god! Everyone's <laughs> just gonna say <laughs> This is so cliche. <laughs> it's a little cringe, but I do admit, like, everybody, like, fantasize about moments like this in high school or some shit, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I like this guy. He's a bit of a clown. <laughs> Even like the first day he showed up, he saw Yuya and was like, oh, a rival has appeared, right? Oh, he's corked out of his mind. <laughs> saved us both. <laughs> we saved her, saved his fucking... You know, if he hit her, that would have been so bad. I guess he did save her. 
What's his name? Akira the young noble who gave you that nickname. He's self-proclaimed. No one calls him that, right? <laughs> he just gives himself nicknames. <laughs> He's a little bit chuny. I like him though. It's pretty funny. Everybody just gets along here though, huh? There's no one that's like an antagonist at the school. <gasps> what did you just say? Holy shit. Kaori's gonna listen. What kind of outfit? What kind of underwear is that? Oh, it's uh, Kaide. <laughs> Everybody's calling Yuya the prince. Remember how, you know, Akari and Chidose was like, oh, I'm the young noble. <laughs> Immediately, all the girls are just calling him prince. <laughs> oh my god! And then he did like a 360 kick in midair. I wonder how Kaori feels about that. That's the other girl that shared the textbook with us. She seems like very calm, serious. Not yet. <laughs> but everyone just like just look, goes for him for his looks. Boom, boom, synced. Kaori and Kai, they, they're both gunning for it. The fuck? What the? We got some delinquents? Is this from the- Wait, what? They're swinging bats at girls? Oh, <laughs> That's kind of fun- What kind of- what? I, I- I would understand if they're here to pick some fights with the other guy, but they literally went there for a drive through with a fucking bat. That's crazy. Red Ogre is their name. Kind of cringe, but they have matching team jackets. <laughs> what do they want? Araki. Oh, from the previous school, right? Yeah. Well, they really showed up here just for Yuya? These motherfuckers. Oh my god. The shitty brother and sister. But this is great. They're gonna get fucking embarrassed again. What a bullshit logic. <laughs> Y'all are so mad you didn't get an invite here. <laughs> I can't wait for them to just get absolutely shit on. Yuya, come on, show up. You're just fucking children. What do you know? What would happen if you abducted an actual person? You don't understand the real life fucking consequences. But it's anime. We don't have to worry about that. It's just funny to me. Because these motherfuckers, what are they, like 14, 15? Like trying to do fucking criminal activity without realizing the gravity of the situation. Like, you dumb motherfuckers. Is he mentally shook? Huh. But it's not about that because this is past trauma. Like, this is a mental block. That was a slap. I thought Kaide slapped him. I think he slapped himself, probably. Right? Okay. I thought Kaide showed up and slapped him for some reason because she appeared in front. Okay. Out the window. No, this is going to be a more dramatic entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No way! No! <laughs> Everybody, not from the fourth floor! <laughs> Don't try to copy that. You know, your leg's gonna get busted, but damn! Look at that main character entrance. Everybody's fucking watching from the school. <laughs> from the fourth floor! <gasps> ay -ay. Yeah. It's kind of kinky. You're gonna punish us? Yo, get a life! Like, what are you guys doing? Oh, oh! All those weapon disarmed. Nah, this guy's gonna get fucked. <laughs> Not even look at him, go for Cowdy. <laughs> huh. Who is this big boy? Overwhelming strength. Beat him right now. Nah, Shivuman overwhelming strength is. Not even moving. Look at him in his position versus Yuya just standing with one arm. <laughs> Overwhelming strength, you said, huh? <laughs> Impossible! Not the bike! <laughs> Not the bike! <laughs> Big boy! <laughs> Who is this guy? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! We're gonna come with the f our head. This is like the leader. Nah, block it with one hand. Destroy this bike. Stand there. 
Come on, hit me! Hit me! Come on! Oh, okay. Let's do that too. I want him to just totally embarrass him. What the? How did. He just. Okay. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> just let him make a fool of himself this way. <laughs> Yo, is he okay? That fucking thing blew up. Ooh, to the curb. Everyone's watching. Yuya didn't really do any damage to any of them, huh? He disarmed them all. He stopped the big boy with one hand. And he basically just let everyone just fuck themselves over. So technically, he can't get arrested for anything. Oh! Everyone's still watching? Is everyone still watching? Kaori, this is your time. Mark your territory. These motherfuckers. I hate these two so much. Oh my god. But you know this isn't the end. Oh. Who? Oh. Fuck it. No. Let, let him do that thing. I don't care. Both of them just can go to hell. I don't care. You think I'll show any pity to the fucking brother? What a piece of shit, dude. Choke her too. No. Choke her too. I don't care, dude. I agree. She is just as bad. Get fucked. I'm feeling kind of bad now. I, I, I'm feeling kind of bad now. But they're terrible, man. They're terrible. I'm not a good person. You shouldn't solve, you know, evil with evil. But, you know, I'm not a good person. I just want some fucking gratification, baby. Oh. One hand. Will the little brother show any level of apologetic attitude? We're gonna call Big Bro now? Fuck off. Yo, wh what's the police doing? They're all just watching this shit. That's Conqueror's Hockey! <laughs> How, Shoko? No hockey! He has it after all. <laughs> Bro stopped him with a glare! That's funny. The cops were literally just watching it happen. <laughs> he was choking <laughs> Because he's a good person. He'll show kindness no matter what. Grandpa's words. Yeah, y'all are still trash. Family? He's too good. Nah, if this is me, I'd be like, fuck both of you. I'd start choking both of them right now, double handed, but. Nah, fake tears. I don't care. Uh uh, uh uh. There is no redemption. Nope. Mm mm. Mm mm. They're trash still to me. Post credit scene? What? No, you were really cool. You sold them all. Yeah. Because he really soloed the entire Red Ogre gang. Yeah, he also jumped out the fourth floor. Bro, no normal human should have those kind of legs. What are we... <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I love it though. It's very corny, cliche, you know, but it still delivers and I'm having a lot of fun just enjoying it. Wow! <laughs> By far the best episode. God damn. Man, that little brother and sister, uh-uh, they're still trash to me. In fact, I hope they don't redeem themselves so they can show up and they can cause more. Because like we need an antagonist, right? Who are the real villains that you can have pop-off moments like that? Moments like this where everybody's watching and you're like, oh my god, Yuya jumped out the fourth floor and he's soloing everybody. I love these moments, man. They are so hype. You might call it generic, cliche, whatever, but to me, this is still so entertaining. So I just treat this show for what it is. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video and check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.